I can't believe this is happening. Sometimes we try to do things with companies and they can end well, but sometimes they can end very badly. Right now I'm trying to do something with Dwarf Lab, but I have no idea how it's going to end. Let's see. Dwarf Lab recently sent me a Dwarf 2 device for review and I was so happy with it that not only I did that review, but also I kept doing videos about it. For a simple reason, I enjoy a lot the Dwarf and I think it's very useful by its size to transport anywhere. However, because I like also to know the people behind the product, I even made an interview in this channel for you to know better who is the team behind the Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope. And that interview was very positive. In fact, we could knew them better and also listen to propositions they had for the Dwarf 2 evolution, which they are implementing right now. However, that was not enough. I wanted to push the things a bit further and I had an idea. There's a science center here in my town. They work under the umbrella of the town council, exploring all the science branches with the community. However, when I spoke with them, they had no idea about the Dwarf 2 telescope. I thought it was a good fit for their institution. However, I use my Dwarf 2 telescope every time I have to travel, therefore I need it. So I thought in challenging Dwarf Lab team, if they want to help us. And that's what we are going to do right now. Okay, let's see if Dwarf Lab is interested in this. Who knows? Fingers crossed. Let's record an audio to send to them. Hello, this is Tiago from the Sun and Power channel. I'm calling you because I wonder if you are interested in making a donation of a Dwarf 2 device to a science center we have here in our town. It's a humble and small science center which works with uh, children and public in general. And uh, well, if you're not interested, uh, it's not a problem. It's only me trying to, to know if you're interested in that. And if you're interested, please let me know because uh, it will be very nice for the, the children and for the science center here to receive a Dwarf 2 uh, smart telescope and do stuff with um, the children and the schools here around and to the outreach that they do also um, in our city. Thank you. And a few hours later, they answered. Hey Tiago, Grace here from Dwarf Lab. First, I've got to say, wow, what you're doing there at the Dobsonian Power Channel and local science center is out of this world. Lighting up the nice guy for the kids and the community is stellar work. When you talk about reaching those young minds and sparking curiosity, it really resonates with us here. We believe in the magic of looking up and dreaming big, and your science center sounds like the perfect launch pad for those dreams. Now about donating a Dwarf 2 device, a pocket-sized portal to the cosmos, as we like to call it. We would be absolutely over the moon to help out. Making stargazing accessible is what we're all about, and your project sounds like a perfect fit. So, consider it done. We will be sending a Dwarf 2 Smart Telescope your way. We can't wait to hear about the amazing galactic discoveries your young astronomers will make. So, keep reaching for the stars, Tiago. Clear skies and happy stargazing from all of us here at Dwarf Lab. Guys, right now I'm going to the Science Center to give them the news. The good news from Dwarf Lab. Let's see. Well, interesting conversation. Let's see what happens now and wait for the Dwarf 2 to come. <laughs> 